Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League predictions Week 17 I think we're on, week 17, week 16, somewhere around that Anyway, but anyway guys, a lot to talk about, a lot to get through So guys, you know what to do, tell a big fat thumbs up, you enjoy it, subscribe for more Thanks for watching and let's go So the first game I'm going to talk to you about is Brentford versus Watford Watford ain't on a bad run um, under Kanye Ranieri, I think they lost last week, um, but they're going off against a really good Brentford side, who you know have took the Premier League by storm, still performing very, very well as well. So for this one, I'm going to go for a draw, and I'm going to go for a two-two scoreline for that one. My next one is Manchester City versus Wolves. Um, now, Man City are, you know, sitting top of the Premier League table, looking good, looking um, really good to retain the Premier League title. Obviously, still a long way to go, and I think they still want to play Chelsea twice. Um, I'm not too sure, but anyway, going up against Wolves this weekend at the Etihad Stadium. Etihad Stadium is a difficult place for any club to go. You know, Man City seems to play better at home than anywhere else and why not as you know it's your home turf I'm gonna go for a city win though and I'm gonna go for a 3-1 city win my next one is Arsenal versus Southampton Arsenal are you know playing okay I think they've lost the previous couple of weeks so losing their you know, grip a bit, um, lost to Everton the previous week, and, uh, you know, as I said, I'm in a couple of bad results over the past few weeks here and there. Going up against the Southampton team, that does look pretty good, um, but I did draw to Brighton in the previous uh, fixture. It's going to be a very interesting game at the Etihad Stadium, uh, sorry, at the Emirates Stadium this weekend. Um, but it is still going to be very interesting. Looking back on that Everton game, the way that Arsenal did play, and I can see why, possibly why Arsenal are struggling. But anyway, going up, up against Southampton, I'm going to want to put it right. I'm going to predict a draw for this one, actually. And I'm going to predict a 1 1 scoreline for that one. The next one is Chelsea versus Leagues. Now, Chelsea are on a bit of a down uh, due to St. Petersburg um, in the Champions League. Um, and, you know, they have pretty much gone on big downer so far. Um, they lost the previous weekend. I can't remember who to, but I know they... Did they lose or did, did they draw? can't remember, but anyway, you know what? It's ins insignificant. Um, but... Right, George St. Petersburg. Maybe set a tomorrow stone for Chelsea in their own rights. Maybe, you know, maybe just got a bit, bit ahead of themselves. But for this one, I'm going to go for a draw, I think. A shocking draw. And I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Liverpool versus Aston Villa. Now, Liverpool sitting top. No, sitting second in the Premier League. This sit top before Macy's win, I think it was against Watford. Um, but, you know, doing okay in that sort of spell and that, you know, doing okay in second. Going up against, and it's a return for Steve Gerrard's filler uh, side to Anfield. First time, uh, as far as I know, that Steve Gerrard's returned to Anfield since retiring as a Liverpool player. Going to be a really interesting game, but I do think Liverpool will win this game, and I believe they'll win it quite comfortably, and that's why I'm going to go with a 3 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Norwich versus Manchester United. Dean Smith doing okay at Norwich. Um, Man United's record as it stands beating Palace and drawing to Young Boys in the Champions League under their new caretaker manager. Why are we just on Man United? I then. Um, so a couple of shocking things I did learn that. Um, you know, that he didn't know about his own players, you know, things that you shouldn't know if you're going to come and take care, take a manager of a club, but 
anyway so as I said they were drawn they lost and um, sorry they've drawn that one is it time for that first out to appear on their team sheet what I've seen of United is pretty boring um, now there's no real finesse is that the, the way United are going to go forward only time will tell but um, I'm going to go you know what I'm going to do I'm going to do one of them ridiculous predictions like I do sometimes and I'm going to go for a 1-0 Norwich win don't know why but my next one is Brighton versus Spurs. Now, Brighton versus Spurs can be called off due to the COVID outbreak up at Tottenham. Um, their Europa League conference game has already been called off. It's due to be played today. If you're not watching it today, it's on the Thursday. And this game does look in doubt as well. Um, but as it stands, still going ahead. But Tony could be watching this. It could be postponed and, you know, it could make... But anyway, I'm just going to go with it like it's going ahead. And uh, as I said, if it gets postponed, it gets postponed. So, Brighton drawing to Southampton. Brighton drawing to West Ham. Now, due to the outbreak at Spurs, if this game does go ahead, or, you know, it does go ahead, you know, they've got to bring a few young boys down. So, yeah, again, it makes a makeshift line up to my prediction. Um... So, I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. But as I said, Tony could be watching this. It could be postponed and insignificant. So, um, my next one is Burnley versus West Ham. Burnley doing okay. Um, you know, I think they are just about in the relegation uh, scrap. And... Uh, and, you know, pretty much doing what Burnley do, and that is just to hang around the relegation zone. Um, but, you know, West Ham doing okay, playing terrific football. Pretty much easy prediction for me, and that's a West Ham win with a 2 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Leicester versus Newcastle. Eddie Howard did manage to get his first win at Newcastle, and Newcastle's first win of the Premier League season against Burnley and uh, fair play for you know Eddie Howard for doing that obviously there's no more sports direct advertising left up at St James's Park either which Newcastle fans are, pr are pretty assumed or relieved about if you're a Newcastle fan please tell me how you feel about that down below but all the sports direct stuff has gone off of St James's Park Um it's nice to see Maybe the Newcastle fans might have their ground back as well. Uh, Leicester pretty much are, you know, same as every season. This bit of the season, this is why they seem to always lose down the top four or top five every season. But going to the King Power Stadium, I'm going to go for a draw. I'm going to expect Newcastle to go pick up another point. And I'm going to go for a one score scoreline for that one. My last one and my next one is Crystal Palace versus Everton. Crystal Palace doing okay. Um, can't remember. Can't remember how I got on last weekend. But Everton did win against Arsenal. Is that a turning point for Rafa Benitez? Maybe could be seen. But I'm going to just predict an Everton win just about. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Everton win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big thumbs up. Hope you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.